Fencing off our little and spot, those building the wall. Pesky deers, you guys. It's just we deer, but yes. You just said pesky deers, and I'm actually putting it in. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Feel like I might look a little bit more like myself today. Still can't really wear much makeup at all. Face is feeling good, feeling very dry. Speaking of dry, today is a super big day because as I was walking just past the front door this morning, I saw a truck out there and I was like, what truck is outside today? It is the fence company. They are here to put in our fence. We have been waiting for this for a couple of months. We're so excited. Basically, we're like sixth in line. We understand there's just other people that had to be served before us. Their number came up first. 47, that's it's our number, it's our time. We're getting the fence started. Just went out and had a meeting with the guys and learned that it's not like, oh, they're gonna put the fence in today. Things take time, there's a process. We are learning the process. They showed up, what they are going to do is they are going to drill all the holes, put in the posts. They will let that set up for about a week. Then they will come back in about seven to 10 days and actually build the fence and put it together. Today they said they're probably gonna get one side done and they'll come back and do the other side, the front the gate and all of that. Big things happening, we're so excited. Like I said, this is something we've been waiting for for quite a while. Let's have our own privacy, mostly keep the deer out. I did see a deer outside last night. That's my tree. And I did chase after it. Shoo, 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 shoo. Saw four deer eating our tree. Probably one of our most expensive trees. They were out there just like having a nice winter feast and I ran out there and I chased after them. I did scare them off. They were running so hard. Their little hoofs were slipping on the concrete. I felt a little bit bad for that, but cute deer. They're so cute, but I just don't want them eating any of our yard. Now that they've pretty much eaten everything, we're going to put a fence around us. So they can't keep coming in. We're very excited for today. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the process and what they do. about to head out because guys recall maybe I didn't say this in here maybe I just said it on stories I think that's an eagle up there see, straight up to the sky a couple of weeks ago Brexton was complaining he's like mom my glasses are really scratched and I'm like why bud he never takes his glasses off because he actually physically needs them to see he cannot see without his glasses he gets in bed he takes them off he wakes up he puts them on before he gets out of bed like he needs his glasses so bad it was like your glasses really shouldn't be scratched because you wear them all the time you don't ever take them off it's not like they're rubbing around on anything I was like you know what? let me get out my calendar let me see when your next appointment is and I was like that's weird it's not in the calendar. And normally I schedule before I leave. I decided to call the doctor's office and they looked it up and they says, we don't have you scheduled. And I was like, why would I have done that? She goes, it actually looks like you were supposed to come last April. I was like, last April? Oh my gosh, I'm the worst mom ever. I think that we had to cancel his eye appointment because we were going to Disneyland or something like that. Prescription goggles for the first time ever. Disney World. <laughs> Something I don't remember. I forgot to put my arms in. That's it. Went somewhere. Yeah, aloha. And I remember having to cancel it. And guess what? I guess I had too many tabs open and I never rescheduled it. So I am about to go check Brexton and Hazy out and I am taking them to the eye doctor today. Brexton's likely gonna need a new prescription. I'm not sure about Hazy. She doesn't wear her glasses a ton. She did put them on today. We'll just have to see where they're at. Ophthalmology appointment for them today. And then they have their first day of piano this afternoon. Hopefully Brexton's eyes aren't super dilated so that he can go to his very first day of piano with his new teachers. We'll see. I'm feeling like a major mom fell. Know that sometimes we just have a lot going on. This last year, we've certainly had a lot going on. We're gonna get in there today. Thankfully, his arm is doing so much better. You're just so sweet for all of the well wishes, the comments, and wishing him that he's okay. So thank you, thank you for all the love and concern. He is doing great. Now I'm gonna head out and go pick them up and go take them to the eye doctor. got a bit of a unique situation here today. It is just me and crew here at the house because Rex and Hazy are off at an eye appointment with mom. She checked them out a little bit early to get their eyes checked on. Rex might be coming home with some new glasses. We don't know. Rye Guy went home with a friend because they're going to hang out today as they're going into a four-day weekend, sort of. It's an online Friday. They got some friends coming over to the house tonight. going to start off by hanging out together at their house. So that just leaves me and crew, just the two of us, hanging out after school. Started things off by getting a little treat on the way home. And then I said, hey, what do you want to do when you get home? He's got piano today. First piano lesson. It is the piano teacher's house. But he said, do you think we can get the snow off of the sport court so that when it's warmer in the next couple days, melt off all that ice and maybe we could shoot some hoops. Guys, it's like in the 40s right now. It is currently 4D. Tomorrow's supposed to be 45, which is dang warm. So we thought, why not come out here, get some of the snow off the top of this, and then maybe if we're lucky, it'll melt off and we can get even like one day of shooting hoops out here, which I think would be pretty rad. In the meantime, they continue to build the fence here around the home. They have got posts going up all the way down the side here. Guys, that's a lot of work. I've been watching them grind out these posts. They've got it all the way down. It looks like the entire side of the house has posts kind of lightly set. Then they have to go permanently set them in. Then they have to sit for like a week or two weeks to settle in so that they are permanently placed in there. They say it's going to take them a few days just 
to drill the holes, set those posts in place. So for today, they've gotten all the way down to here and they'll curve it back around and up. And we have some decisions to make with the gate as you come into the backyard. We've got those new freshly poured stairs, new wrought iron gate there. But the rest of the fence is gonna be kind of a privacy fence. It's like an eight foot privacy fence. It's really nice to seal ourselves off in here when we party, have our swimming parties, and entertain. For now, gotta get the sport court cleaned off somewhat, just enough, like just that top layer. I think when warmer weather hits in the next couple of days, it should melt that off. But then it is supposed to snow again in like, I don't know, three days. So I'll probably cover it up again. But if we can get one day of shooting hoops in, it's gonna be worth it. They're continuing to pound it out there on the fence post, getting as many in today as they can. It has turned into fantastic weather for planting some fence posts, at least according to my calculations, because it's sunny out there, it's warmer, makes the ground a little bit softer, not as miserable to work in. At the same time, crew and I have shoveled off a little bit of snow. Maybe we can get at least a half court ready to shoot some hoops on tomorrow, one winter day of shooting hoops. Rexy Doodle, so crew is actually at piano right now. Rexon is about to go over. We're so lucky, you guys. We found a piano teacher very nearby, almost walking distance. Crew's there right now since it's his first time. Mom's hanging out there with him. It's an in home lesson. Lesson, someone nearby. So Brex is gonna go next. I'm not sure if she's coming to pick you up and go back or if I'm taking you down there, I'm yeah. gonna find out for sure. But either way, he's been practicing a little bit. They haven't really played since the recital, right? Yeah. The last time you probably played. He's practicing a little bit so they can assess where he's at, his level right now of understanding, his expertise, and they can take it from there. So he's anxious to get over there, have his first lesson. Give me something that they do every week on, what is today? Thursday. Thursday. So that's gonna be piano day. Thursday's piano day. Wednesday, we've got something. Tuesday's dance and tumbling. Mondays have something. And this weekend, we're gonna just live it up. Got home from taking Brexton and Hazy to the eye doctor. Hazy girl, how did it go? Good. She had her eyes dilated. I don't think either one of them loved that. They said Hazy's eyes look healthy. Her prescription hasn't really changed. She said it changed just a teeny bit, but not enough that like we need to get her new glasses. Brexy Doodle, how did yours go? You eating? Good. Mm -hmm. His eyes are healthy. They are strong. Brexton's prescription changed just a little bit. Needs new glasses. I actually have had several of you say it would actually help Brexton to get contacts. It would make it so his eyes won't get worse. Brexton is farsighted. And and the doctor said that that really only helps if you are nearsighted. Do you want to get contacts? No. No? Yeah, I didn't think so. He's not ready to get contacts yet or try them yet. I never brought it up to me, but I was curious if we can at all slow down. His eyes getting worse, then obviously I'd want to. We're gonna go right after the eye doctor to take him to get new glasses, but his eyes were dilated. He couldn't see anything. We're gonna wait and take him. We might take him tomorrow during the day because they have online Friday, which is so exciting. The kids are gonna be home doing homework tomorrow online. It means I get to be their teacher. I give a lot of homework. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. Dinner. Oh, I thought it was for your honey. Not you. Hazel, Hazel, you wanna say excuse me at least over here? Just <laughs> <laughs> We're having dinner tonight and we decided to have Chick-fil-A. We love Chick-fil-A. Yes, we do. But we made it ourselves. That almost looks like a jumbo okay. shrimp. Homemade Chick-fil-A tonight. If you have not had, this is Sam's Club, right? Sam's Club exclusive. Sam's Club knockoff Chick-fil-A nuggets and fries. They even have the matching waffle, waffle fries. fries. Fantastic. Not as good, but fantastic. Those are having tonight. Kids are having some friends over. It's been a phenomenal day. I wish the sun was still up so I could show you the posts outside. I know it'll eventually be a fence and wait until then. But as we drove down the side of the house, my mind was blown at how significant that fence is. Like it is a big boy. Like I knew it was an eight footer. But I think seeing the post, I was just like, dang, that is a wall. I know. It's gonna be cool. It's been kind of fun to be able to come by and see the landscaping, the lights, the fun it. stuff back there. That's gonna be all walled off now. But we talked about it. That's kind of the point of having the privacy fence, swimming pool parties, Let's things like that. Our own little space. You have your own little spot. Cause guys, you've been here for at least more than two months. We came from a home where you could literally borrow a cup of sugar out the kitchen window from our neighbor. It's kind of a shared community, open area, no fences and stuff like that, which had its upside, had its benefits. The for kitchen sure. had a lot of friends. There was people to talk to. It was great. We always knew at some point we wanted to stretch out a little bit, have a little more space, have a little more yard to play in. And so now, we'll just remember the biggest thing of all though. No more scooping up other people's dog poop. We oh scooped so much dog poop in that yard and, and we never had a dog. Know. We never we had don't have a dog. dog. I mean, I spent so much time scooping dog poop and we don't have a dog. But now, we're gonna keep some of the deer out, keep anybody's dogs out, which we haven't had an issue with that at all here. But fencing off our little and spot, those building the wall. deers, you guys? That's just we deer, in but yes. You just said pesky deers and I'm actually putting it in. <laughs> Despite how <laughs> pesky deer see <laughs> deers is deers is around here. They're real annoying. Do you want to put in the? I'm of putting me it in. If you don't mind, it was one of the funniest things. In fact, if you got to know how that text conversation happened, we've been instructed that we need to scare them off if we see them, so that they don't get accustomed <laughs> to thinking like, hey, this is a good place to come I have lunch. I just said deers is. You said deers. She texted first video said nothing. That's my tree. And I text back and I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That's why that tree's half gone at the bottom. I said, but don't let them just sit there and snack. We've been told we need to scare them off when you see them. As I hit send, the next <laughs> video clip comes in. 
I might be crazy for doing this. Go away! Shoo, 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 shoo! I think it's like a winter feast. And I look like a psycho. Lunatic running down the street, stomping out of control, really screaming was. at the deer. And they go just trotting off in the oh funniest. Gosh, they're little hooves. <laughs> it was hooves. like four off. They were like split. I'm not gonna help you with plurals. I have no idea. Hooves, they're hooves, hooves, hoofies. They're hoofuses. Hoofuses. They were like Those deers. sliding and slipping on the concrete. Because they, they were, they were so away. scared. And I know I feel bad. Some of you, including Maddie, are just like, leave them alone. If you do, they will eat everything you have. So hilarious though. Mom sends that clip and she's screaming and chasing them. And she <laughs> says in her next text, I understood the assignment. Looks like you definitely understood the assignment. Yes, I did. So deer have been scared off, but like we were out there today. Now that the snow's melted, if I thought the dog poo was bad in our last Fresh yard, the deer poo. it is deer droppings everywhere. Getting the fence up will be nice to at least keep them out there doing their business elsewhere. We're gonna do our business. Nice transition from deer doo doo to dinner. We're gonna have some Chick Fil A nuggets. Oh dears. Okay, here's your girl. Finally got all these buttons set up so they actually do something. One of my favorites is mood in the theater. We just turn on wall sconces, the ones by the screen and the stairs, and that's it. Just set in the mood, Hazel. Movie mood. And another one that I love is concessions, or no, intermission, I think. What's it called? Oh, it's on this side, and that panel's not in yet. Dang it. Intermission. So when people have to go get like a potty break and a snack, only certain lights come on. It's like this row back here comes on at 20%, and then the floor lights, and that's it. Anyways, been having a lot of fun messing with that. Tonight, Hazy Girl and I and Mom are gonna watch a movie here in the theater. And Hazy, what have we decided to watch this evening? Wreck It Ralph 2. We're gonna watch Wreck It Ralph 2 because we think that'd be kind of fun to watch Ralph break the internet. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. The internet? Boys out there nubbing, playing some games, having some fun, doing their thing. Breaks your duel. Hey, we're gonna watch Wreck It Ralph if you wanna join us or you can play games with your homies. Where are you going? Play games. Play games? Okay. If you feel like it and you get bored Love of it. Love you. Love you. Come on in here and watch some Wreck It Ralph. He's gonna break that internet. Hey, Wait, how are the guys doing? Good? We're gonna do number two, yeah. Figure off two. That's a good movie. I'm so excited for this movie. I just gotta find my seat. Let's see. I wasn't here. I think I was up here. Excuse me, miss. Is this seat taken? Yeah, sorry. They're for my mom and dad. Oh, they're for your mom and dad? Oh, I am so sorry to disturb you. Go back to your movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you. <laughs> We are winding this day down and going into a weekend, extended yes. weekend coming up. And I gotta tell you, I could use sleeping in a little bit tomorrow, not getting up early. Really, I feel great. Yeah, mom's been killing it on the sleep. She is bouncing off the walls, feeling good. But mom, you gotta keep up on that. Here's what happens. You do that during the week, I and know. then the weekends, you kind of get off, watch a couple extra shows. Well, I would, but the TV in our room is broken. <laughs> it's not broken, Mindy. You just can't get it to turn on. It's our old TV from our old house. We have to replace that one. Make sure you stick around, come back every single day this weekend, because at some point in this weekend, we're dropping a surprise on the world. I gotta say it quietly, because we just put the kids to bed. Surprise to them, surprise to you guys. Make sure you Around. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. See you guys later. Good night, everybody. Later. That's an off our little spot. Build the wall. Deers, you guys. It's just we deer, but yes. You just said pesky deers, and I'm actually putting it in. <laughs> That's my tree. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. And I look like a psycho.